This prism is made of glass. We'll shine white light through the glass. White light is a mixture of the red, green, and blue lights that are detected by the three different kinds of cones in our eyes. The glass has a slightly different index of refraction for each of those three colors. When we shine white light into the prism, the three colors, red, green, and blue, are refracted through slightly different angles. As a result, the prism separates white light into its constituent red, green, and blue, which we see as this rainbow on the board. This spherical container is filled with water. We'll use it to create a rainbow. Light from the sun hits this raindrop. A small but visible portion of that light refracts once at this surface, reflects at the back, refracts again at this surface, and passes into your eye. There's a 42 degree angle between the sun, the water drop, and you. To see a rainbow, the sun is always at your back. We now shine light onto this sphere of water to make a rainbow. Even on a hot summer day when it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit at ground level, a couple of miles up into the air and the temperature is below freezing. A common form of ice crystal has a hexagonal shape with their flat side vertical. Light from the sun enters one face of the crystal and gets refracted by 22 degrees from the sun's forward direction as it exits the other side of the crystal. A sufficient number of these crystals, floating in wispy clouds, produce the so-called sun dog. These can appear 22 degrees from each side of the sun and are a common sight. As you look at a rainbow, each color that you see is coming from differing drops located at differing heights above the ground. Blue and green colors are coming from drops that are highest above you. The red color is coming from drops at a lower height. These drops are actually falling toward the ground. The red that you see is coming from a series of drops as they fall through the correct height that sends red light toward your eye. The person standing next to you sees a rainbow that's coming from different drops than the rainbow that you see. Each person gets to see their own rainbow. Each drop tries with all of its might to make a rainbow bright enough for you to see, but it takes a zillion raindrops to produce a visible rainbow. The red that you see is actually coming from all the drops that are at the right height along this line. If you try to move toward the rainbow, there will no longer be a sufficient number of drops between you and the rainbow, so the rainbow dims and disappears. As sunlight leaves the drop, no colors are being refracted into the region above or below the drops, making this part of the sky a bit darker. Since 42 degrees are needed between you, the raindrop, and the sun, there are no rainbows in winter when the sun does not reach high enough into the sky. The primary rainbow has red on the outside, but the secondary rainbow has red on the inside. The secondary rainbow results from an extra reflection within the water drop, and this reverses the colors. The secondary rainbow is dimmer than the primary rainbow. There are additional rainbows due to additional reflections, but each one is dimmer and dimmer and can only be detected with scientific instruments. A rainbow is circularly shaped. The circle is centered around the sun, which is at an angle above your back. Your off-center view of the circular rainbow makes it appear parabolic to you. If the sun is on the horizon, then you can see 180 degrees worth of rainbow. From an airplane, one can see the entire circle. You can see all 360 degrees of the rainbow 
by spraying water from your garden hose. The largest raindrops make the brightest rainbows. Every person on the planet enjoys rainbows. Each culture has colorful myths about rainbows. Some say that all the colors of light are needed to end a thunderstorm, or that the rainbow is a giant snake out to graze after the storm, or that the rainbow sucks water from the seas to sprinkle it as rain, or that the rainbow is a stream that souls drink. Some say that pointing at the rainbow causes bad luck or an ulcer, or the loss of that finger, or causes oneself to be struck by lightning. Finding the end of the rainbow brings health, beauty, pearls, or gold. These stories are given by Boren.